Hey, what's up, guys? A um, little follow-up video here I did um, a while ago. A video on uh, how to install the Euro Truck to a uh, multiplayer mod. I'm just on the uh, main page here that's linked in the last video, and I'll, uh, I'll link it again, alpha.ets2mp.com. Um, thanks to SCS, uh, as soon as I released my video, they released a new game patch. Uh, with the metallic paint jobs and uh, some bug fixes, which uh, was not compatible with the multiplayer mod at the time. Uh, it's all been resolved since then, but uh, great timing on their part because I had uh, a bunch of questions both on YouTube and on Twitch, so I just wanted to go over uh, basically the balance between the multiplayer mod and your actual version of ETS2 on Steam. Uh, show you guys some settings and also I was asked how to add a shortcut into Steam uh, which you can do for the multiplayer mod which people have shown in their videos which I have but it does not do it automatically. It's really easy. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but basically as far as any kind of troubleshooting goes if you get any kind of error messages trying to play multiplayer about versions, uh, the easiest thing to do, first step, first off, is usually it's just a conflict between the two, the mod and your game version. The two versions aren't compatible with each other, what, what have you. So come to this page, go through Steam, download it like I showed in my uh, previous video. I'll do this as a uh, can you do, I don't even think you can do video response anymore. I'll put a link to the first video in the, in the uh, description. If I can do it as a response, I will. But I think they took that away. Because why would they keep good features on YouTube? But that's uh, for another time. So anyway. <clears throat> get the newest version of this. Make sure you have that. Now go to your Steam library. And go to Euro Truck 2. You see I have the shortcut here. And it says shortcut. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But right click on this, go down to properties, come to the betas tab. Actually, before you even do that, um, I would go to updates. I keep mine updated all the time. I don't care if I have to play around with my version, it's no big deal. Um, the multiplayer mod team suggests you select do not automatically update this game so that if SCS releases, releases a patch which isn't compatible there shouldn't be a problem but I want mine updated so that's how I set mine I don't suggest that for everybody unless you don't mind messing around with the screen that I'm in right now uh, and you go to the betas tab anyway this is where you're gonna sync your versions okay I'm set on the uh, public beta list uh, what I would suggest is you go through the list here you can see there's all these different versions, okay? Uh, probably your best bet would be none. Opt out of all beta programs. That would give you the latest official release from SCS. Or you'll see here, there's numbers. Whatever version the mod should tell you it's looking for that's the one you click like right now this is this is the newest one 1.10.1.7 this is the one that just came out and supports the newest uh, DLC paint jobs so this would be the one it's looking for at this at this time which is June 1st of 2014 but um, you can go to none that should be, that should give you the least amount of problems you know but whatever version it's looking for just just scroll through the list remember what error it gives you and find the version in this list this should be the one it's looking for right now so that's that I like I said I stay in the public betas if uh, they release something earlier as a public beta I like to mess around with it see what it's all about if not you know if I do feel like playing multiplayer I'll go to whatever version I need I said I have no problem messing around with my versions on here uh, the only thing that really sucks about it is, uh, depending on your internet speed, it re-downloads the whole game, so it might take a while. Uh, my download speed's pretty good, so I'm not overly concerned with that, but that's another thing also. 
So, uh, suggested uh, settings, updates, I would suggest do not automatically update. And betas, I would suggest to uh, opt out. That's not what I have set, but that should give you the least amount of problems. At some point, of course, you're going to have to update both ends, but that should leave it running the longest with the fewest problems. Okay, as for adding a multiplayer shortcut, which I was also asked, that's very easy to do. You come up to the top, go to Games, add a non-Steam game to my library, you click that, it brings up this whole huge menu here of all these different programs on your computer. I don't remember if the multiplayer mod was in this list. I don't believe it was. But you can go to Browse. And, um... ETS2 MP. It's, it's looking for your launcher, which is this. So, more than likely it would be in this location. Your C drive. Program files. I have uh, Windows 764, so it might be program files or program files x86. Your truck simulator 2 multiplayer. This is the default um, default installation folder, and you're looking for your launcher. So you would click that and just click open, and boom, it would add that for you. And if I click properties on the proper thing, it should hopefully show that. There you go. Target, which is your program files. It's got it's kind of cut off here, but program files. Euro Truck Simulator 2 multiplayer launcher.exe. That's all there is to it. It'll add a shortcut to multiplayer right through Steam. This way, you have your regular single player, ETS2, and your multiplayer. So you won't have to add any kind of links or anything like that. You won't have to use the the shortcuts it creates. It's right in your Steam, and you can. Just double click it and boom, it'll fire right up. So, uh, I believe that's everything. Uh, it's covering all the questions I got on YouTube and on Twitch. It's just all it is is a balance. You have to keep the two versions balanced so that they cooperate with each other. Uh, a lot of times, SCS will release some kind of a patch. It didn't happen with this last paint job patch, it worked okay. But the uh, multiplayer team updated since then anyway. But basically, that's it. Just make sure you have the newest version of this mod at all times alpha.ets2mp.com which I will put a link in the description for and I will link and if I can video response I think they took it away but I'm not sure if I can I'll put this as a video response to my first installation video on this but I believe that covers all the questions I've really received on both on YouTube and on Twitch when I've been streaming uh, the multiplayer mod so that's about it uh, Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you for clicking that like button. It really helps me, helps the channel. Uh, thank you for your questions and comments. Feel free to drop me a line if you need help with anything or you have anything to say. And I'll see you guys soon.